hey guys and welcome back to my channel so i was on twitter and what i kept seeing it was like a repetitive pattern of tweets about divine partners so it looks like a lot of people have divine partnership on their mind um and if you don't know what a divine partner is it's basically your life partner that was sent to you from the most high god uh the divine you know whatever you believe in um it's the person that was sent for you um it's a very high vibrational relationship and usually it's a relationship where you two will come together and create something beautiful whether it be children or you create some sort of like business together or you have some sort of spiritual mission together so yeah a lot of people have been wanting to find their divine counterpart and a lot of people have been doing the the healing work to attract their divine counterpart so i figured i would do a reading on this and i will um be giving you your divine counterparts traits um like their personality traits and also telling you what your relationship with them would be like and then also telling you when you would meet them so if you're new to pick a card readings you're basically going to go based off your intuition so just take a look at the cards the card piles on the screen and um, at the crystals and whichever one stands out to you the most pick that one and i know a lot of people sometimes don't like pick a card readings because they're like I, I just can never choose but um to be honest this would be a perfect opportunity or these pick a card readings are a perfect opportunity for you to develop your intuition um because your intuition is usually your first thought like your first mind and then when you start getting confused it's because you're questioning that very first thought so try to kind of take a deep breath um close your eyes inhale exhale get into a relaxed state of mind and then whichever pile calls to you choose that one and that's the one that uh will most likely resonate with you and if it's more than one pile that you feel fits with you then watch both of them or watch all three of them and see which one you know fits the best so um let's dive right into it i will leave the time stamps for each pile in the description box down below so let's dive right into it okay group number one so you chose the yellow honey calcite stone so let's dive into it we're going to talk about um, what your divine partner is going to be like like their traits and characteristics then we'll get into what your relationship will be like and then finally we will talk about when you will actually meet your divine partner okay so when it comes to the traits and characteristics of your divine partner we have the hangman card the friendliness card and the courtship card okay so your divine partner it looks like they are someone who is very sure of themselves um they are very sure about what they want so your courting stage like your stage of dating may not be that long um, because this person is someone who knows exactly what they want and when they meet you they are very aware that you have everything that they want now i'm not saying that they're going to want to rush into a relationship um, they're not going to like dive into it or try to rush you into anything but it's not going to be like they're dating you for five years and they still can't figure out if they want to marry you y you see what i'm saying like there's someone who will be very um very sure about like this is my person this is who i want and they're going to make it clear to you that you are who they want um this person is very sensitive i'm sensing a very sensitive soft energy with them um, i'm sensing kind of like cancer energy they don't have to be a cancer but i'm sensing like cancer uh cancer like maternal sort of energy like they're very loving they're very um nurturing they're very caring um but at the same time this person is also very independent so you don't have to worry about someone who is trying to rush into a relationship and kind of like smother you all the time or like cling on to you it's like they know what they want they're sure of what they want they know they want you at the same time though they are someone who is you know very independent they have their own life outside of you know just your connection which is good which is you know healthy um this is someone who's also very spiritually enlightened um they can be someone who is into spirituality or maybe they're religious in some way but they're very spiritually enlightened um i'm sensing that they could be into like philosophy psychology and things of that sort as well like it this could be their profession um they could be in like the psychology or spirituality field or it could very well be some um some topics that they just like to study like in their their free time but i am sensing heavily that this could actually be uh their career path um psychology philosophy spirituality something of that sort 
is what I'm sensing. Um, I'm, I'm seeing very casually dressed, like they like to dress very comfortable. But I'm also seeing that when you do go out on dates, they like for both of you to like dress up and to look your best. But like on a day to day, it looks like they are very casual. Um, so I'm not I'm not really sensing that they work in like corporate America or in like somewhere where they need to wear business attire. They work somewhere where they can be casually dressed, which is interesting um, because, like I said, there it, it's like I'm sensing psychology, philosophy, spirituality as a career path. So I'm trying to figure out like <laughs> what career field or what specific career could that entail where the person can dress casually? I want to pull one more card for that. Just because I'm interested. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay. They work with children. There we go. That's what I was picking up. When I said like a maternal energy, um, that's what I was picking up on. They work with children. So when you're working with children, you do kind of have to be like a psychologist in a way because you have to be very mindful um, when you're dealing with children because they're so young and impressionable. And then being spiritually in tune always helps, you know, with raising children as well or with working with children um, and things of that sort. So I am getting that uh, they work in that field and it's something to do with children. So they could really work at like a daycare. It could vary from person to person. Like a lot of people are going to watch this reading. So, you know, it's going to be different. But the overall energy is spirituality, philosophy, psychology, and it's something to do with working with children. Um, is what I am seeing and they love their job they love what they do so that it doesn't really feel like work to them so yeah I'm sensing a very very good energy from them so just to recap overall it's someone who's very sure that they want you um, they're very sure of themselves in general when they want something they go after it um, they do value their independence they have a life outside of their connections and a life outside of their relationship and that's a good thing it's healthy it helps keep things you know balanced so that you're not too wrapped up in each other um, they are someone who is into psychology philosophy and spirituality so they understand the human mind um, quite well um, they are a very deep thinker and they're very good with children and for some of them their occupation involves actually working with children um, but overall their occupation is something that does not feel like work for them like they do they're doing what they love is what I'm seeing so in terms of how your connection is going to be so we have the Emperor card the moment to moment card and the thoughts card so with the Emperor card being here this relationship is going to be very stable um, it's something that you are not going to have to second guess. It's something that you are going to feel like you are in a safe space at all times. Like it's never going to have you, th your relationship will never have you feeling like you're walking on eggshells or that you are, um, like if you've ever been in a relationship where maybe the person was dishonest or you just could not trust the person, think about that sort of dynamic. It's the opposite, the complete opposite of that where you're so sure of your partner that your trust in them is unshakable. Like no matter what anybody tells you about them, that's like, oh, you know, I heard that they're doing this and that. And you know how gossip is and, and people try to interfere in relationships. Your relationship is so solid and so stern that none of that can even penetrate your relationship. And it's not because you're just turning a blind eye to things and you're just choosing to ignore things. It's because your relationship is genuinely solid and you can genuinely trust each other is what I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing here that for some of you, um, you make money together in some way. Um, you could have like a, a side project that you do outside of work um, that could make some sort of income. Um, I'm also hearing some sort of charity work that you two could do together as well. There's something that has to do with like um, a combined effort that raises money, either that either for a business that you have together or for um, some sort of charity work that you two could do together. Um, I, I'm also seeing that you will have a lot of deep discussions and deep conversations, like your mind will constantly be stimulated when you are with each other. It's like a connection that the type of conversations that you cannot have with other people. You see the, the type of conversations that only you two would get it, like only you two would get each other on that level when it comes to these types of discussions. So with the moment to moment card being here in the reverse, again, this relationship has very little anxiety, very little paranoia, 
when they leave, you don't really wonder what they're doing, except, you know, when you miss them, you're like, oh, I wonder what they're doing. I miss them. But you don't have to really question if they're loyal or if they're faithful. You never really have to worry about that at all. Um, and it's the same thing with them. Like, they don't ever have to worry about you at all. So the relationship just feels very free because of the fact that there's so much stability and there's so much safety in it. With the thoughts card being here in the reverse, again, this is a repeat message. Like, I feel like for the group of you who picked this pile, stability, trust, and loyalty is so important to you. And that's why your divine partner is going to give you all of that, like times 10. Um, and that's what's coming up the most strongly uh, because this is something that you need the most in your connection. So with the thoughts card being here, again, this is talking about trust, not having to worry about you know, um, negative intrusive thoughts about your relationship. And whenever you do maybe have any type of negative thoughts or doubts, you're able to sit down and actually work it out. Um, and you don't just sweep your problems under the rug. You actually sit and take the time to work things through. So this is a very mature, stable, solid connection. This is someone who you can definitely grow old with, but this is not a boring connection. Like just because it, it sounds kind of like, you know, it's stable, it's this and that. It's still very fun. It's still very passionate. Um, there's still going to be like fun date nights and things of that sort. So just kind of keep that in mind because for some of you, you're like kind of thinking like, wait a minute, like it, it sounds good, but like, where's the passion? Where's the romance? It's definitely there. And it's going to be there at a heightened level because of the fact that you trust each other so much, you can go all out when it goes to showing your love. You know, like when you have trust issues or there's some sort of like um, paranoia and things of that sort, when you're in a relationship, you can't go all in, you know, it's like you can't fully express your love or fully give your all um, because of the fact that there's that doubt that's there. This it's no, there's no doubt. So you can go all out with each other and it's going to be very passionate and it'll be very, very romantic. And I'm also getting that this person is very creative. So your date nights would be very creative as well. Your gifts um, that they give you like for special occasions and things like that would be very thoughtful and creative as well. Um, also, I'm hearing before I move on to the next card, I'm hearing that this person really likes to take charge, but it's not in a way that is going to be controlling or demanding. It's in a way that you are going to like and you're going to appreciate because there's going to be times where you're not feeling, you know, the strongest. Like we all go through things in life where we don't feel that strong. We don't feel that empowered. And it's like your partner is going to definitely be there to empower you and be like your backbone during those times where you feel like you're not your strongest. All right, so moving on to the next cards where we talk about um, when you will meet this person. Now, this is not a specific time because the time is going to be different for everyone. It's going to vary and the future is not written in stone. Um, so, you know, this time could be, like I said, different for everyone. But I can give you the overall energy of when you would meet this person. All right, so the Six of Swords being here. So it looks like you will meet this person during a time where you are moving away from a negative situation, um, a negative headspace that you were in for a very long time. It's like you're on your way out of that situation. Um, and I'm not, I'm not necessarily seeing that you're going to be leaving a relationship and getting right into this one. I'm not really seeing that. It's more so that maybe you've had the negative thought patterns from past relationships or, or past bad situations that have been weighing on you for a very long time and you're in the process of healing from that and moving away from those thought patterns and you kind of run into this person while you're in the process of moving away and it looks like this person will kind of help you as well to um, move away from that negative headspace is what i'm seeing um, with the sharing card being here i'm seeing that you meet this person during a time where you are actually being selfish and that might sound strange but you being more selfish is actually going to draw this person into your life because for some of you one of your main blockages when, when it comes to love is that you may overextend yourself and so you may be attracted towards or certain people may be attracted towards you who like to take a lot but don't give anything um, because there's an imbalance there's an imbalance when it comes to how much you're willing to give um, so you attract people who take just in surplus and, and they don't give you anything um, and so you start to pull your energy back and be more selfish and be more self-focused and focus on your own life and, and you know using your energy for you to build yourself up and not to build anyone else up and then you come across this person it's kind of like the energy balances out and you come across a person who's willing to give as much to you as you give to yourself yourself i mean um 
the bad health card is also here in reverse. So what I'm seeing is that um, for a lot of you, you're meeting this person at a time where you go through some sort of transformation, like physically, like you're really focused on health, like maybe you change your diet, you start working out. It's like you're really focused on um, really healing your body um, during this time that you meet them. So it, it could be physically healing your body, like I said, like working out, eating right and things of that sort. Um, but it could also be your mental health, um, your spiritual health, like maybe you are going to a therapist regularly, like you're really taking your mental health seriously. Um, you're trying to become emotionally, mentally uh, stable and balanced. Um, you're becoming spiritually in tune, like maybe you're meditating, you're praying more, you're getting closer to the most high, to the creator. Um, it's like really balancing out your health and putting a lot of your energy into that. And it makes sense that when you're doing this, you start to move into a more positive headspace, like you're moving away from a lot of the past um, negative thinking and intrusive thoughts that have been weighing on you for a long time. You start to move away from those and you kind of run smack dab into this person. So that is what I am seeing for you, pile number one. Um, thank you for watching. If you feel like any other pile resonates with you, you can go ahead and watch that too. Um, no harm in that. Um, you might find, or you might be able to draw parallels between you know, these cards that I picked and the messages from another pile. So um, if not, I will see you guys in my next reading. And if you feel drawn towards another pile, then go ahead and um, watch for that pile as well. Okay, pile number two, so you picked the purple rainbow quartz. So we're going to dive right into this. Um, we're first going to talk about what your divine partner will be like, like their traits and characteristics. Um, we'll also be talking about what your relationship will be like with them and then when you will meet this person. Okay, so starting out with the characteristics, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Morality card, and the Distant Horizons card. All right, so right away I'm getting that this person, your divine partner, is someone who is extremely generous. Um, it's like this type of person who will give you the shirt right off their back. Um, they are just not a selfish person. They are definitely more of a giver than they are a taker. Now, it doesn't mean that they are a pushover by any means, um, but they just have a very good heart. They have a lot of innocence and pureness to them, and they just really, really love to give um, because they like to see people happy. So they'll definitely be giving you a lot um, because they like to see you happy. This is someone who actually likes to give gifts, like they enjoy buying gifts. Um, holidays are a very big deal to them. So it's like they go all out for holidays. They go all out for your birthday. Um, just very, very generous person. I am seeing that they are financially well off, which, you know, is always good news. Um, they are financially well off. And so they will be able to um, provide for you and they really enjoy doing that they really enjoy doing so and it comes from a pure place it's not from a place of i'm giving you this or buying you this so that you owe me something so that they can like throw it in your face later it's nothing like that whatsoever it comes from a very innocent place and they will never like throw th use it against you or like throw it in your face later what they've done for you so with the morality card being here this is someone who's very big on justice and fairness like they're not going to do anything to you that they would not like done to them um, they are someone who is very honest. They will not withhold any information from you. They will be very, very upfront when they mess up. They will let you know that they messed up. Um, you won't have to find out from other people things about them. Like they will be the first ones to tell you, but they're not, it's like they're not going to do anything too terrible because like I said, they are very big on justice and they're very big on integrity. So they don't really do anything to you that they wouldn't have done to them or that they wouldn't like done to them. But as a human being, you know, they will make, you know, mistakes that you have to work through, minor mistakes, nothing too crazy or traumatizing. Um, nothing like cheating or anything like that. I'm, I'm definitely not picking up cheating energy from them. Um, <clears throat> but for the mistakes they do make, they'll be the first ones to fess up to it. They'll be the first ones to apologize and make it right. Um, but on the flip side of that, of course, that means that they expect the same in return. And I feel like for those of you who picked this pile, you will give them that in return. And they will definitely admire you and respect you for your honesty because that's something that they have within them. Um, we have the Distant Horizons card here as well. So this person is very imaginative, very creative. Um, they dream very big and they go after what it is that they want out of life. So that's why I'm sensing that this person is very financially well off. It has something to do with their creativity, um, their ability to, like I said, dream big and manifest a lot of 
uh, big things and, and big goals that other people probably would have but wouldn't go towards. Um, it's like they are they go towards it and they actually uh, manifest a lot of abundance by taking this route is what I'm seeing. Um, they're also someone who likes to travel a lot. So you could be taking a lot of trips with each other. There's someone who um, they're already pretty well traveled when they meet you. Um, so when they meet you, it's like they want to take you places that they've been that maybe you have never been before, even if it's not like out of the country. Um, it could be like local places like they like to explore like new places like I wouldn't be surprised if on the weekends they're like let's go to this restaurant I heard of and you've never heard of it but they may have heard about it online or something of that sort. Um, I'm also sensing that they have a lot of friends. Um, they have a lot of people who really really enjoy you know their company. Um, they are someone who is just very it seems like they're quite popular. Um, I'm just sensing like because they are well traveled or because they have been, you know, to a lot of different places, they just have friends in a lot of different places. Just people really enjoy being around them and people really um, enjoy their sense of humor and they enjoy their personality. I'm going to pull one more card and I want to see if I can pick up anything else about their uh, character traits. Oh, this card fell out. Sudden wealth. Okay, yeah. So this clarifying card that came out is the sudden wealth card. This is talking. Well, it's in the reverse. So this talks about the fact that they had to work hard for uh, their abundance. This is not something like they weren't born into money or anything like that. They had to work very hard for it, and they really, really um, pride themselves on the fact that they had to work hard for it and that it was not given to them. But also that's why they are so generous because I feel like they didn't come from a lot. And so um, they know how it feels to struggle. And that's why they are, you know, just very, very generous. Um, this is a person who could give to charity a lot um, and things of that sort. Um, I'm trying to pick up on like their physical appearance. Oh, it's like I have the image in my head and I don't know how to describe it. Um, I would say that their their natural, like not their natural attire, their everyday attire is like business casual that's the best way that i if you go on google and look up business cat just type in business casual that's what i'm seeing for their their day-to-day -day attire oh it's in my head it's so hard to describe it's like it's business casual that's the best way i can describe it like khaki pants like um a white button-up shirt and like a vest like business casual that's, that's the best way i can describe it um very fashionable though because I'm not seeing that. like if they were to buy like khaki pants, it would be like designer. But they don't it, it's like they are not like someone who is big on brands to the point where the brands actually define them, you know, but it's like they would it would be designer, though. It would be like nicely tailored pants like they're very well dressed. Let's put it that way. Yeah, that's the best way I can describe it. OK, so moving on to how your relationship with them would be. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. We have the Adventure card and we have the False Person card. Okay. So it looks like um, your relationship with them would definitely be something that's very comfortable to you. Like it's something that really feels like home. Um, there's someone who would have to really pull you out of your comfort zone. Because I feel like for some of you, this person is so comforting to you that all you really want to do is sit at home and like kind of lay up with them. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with that. There's times where you're going to do that. But this person is the person that will kind of like pull you out of your comfort zone. Like they'll be like, come on, let's get out of the house this weekend. Let's go, you know, here and there. But, there, you know, you are going to spend a lot of time indoors still like cuddling and having uh, quality time with each other as well. But I feel like they will definitely pull you out of your comfort zone. I'm sensing that this person could be like a fire sign, possibly. Um, there's definitely some fire energy that I'm feeling here. Um with the false person card being here in the reverse, that's always good news. That means this person is extremely honest. And that means that your relationship would be very honest and transparent. Um, there will be nothing going on behind your back that you don't know about. Absolutely nothing. Um, what you see with this person is what you get. You will know who they are through and through. Like there won't be a time where you learn something about them and you're like, what? I'm shocked. I would have never guessed this. I would have never thought that you would like this. No, it's like this person, you know them through and through. They're very honest. They're very transparent. Um, there's nothing going on behind your back in this divine partnership. Um, I do feel like you will have the urge to, what's the best way to say this? You will have the urge to codependently attach to them because they are someone who makes you feel that safe that you just naturally want to like latch onto them. 
but it is going to be important that both of you still maintain your lives separate from each other but I see that you're really really wrapped up in each other like for the first couple of months to a year of your relationship your friends could be wondering like where the hell have you been and their friends are wondering where the hell they've been so I mean I guess it, I, I wouldn't call it codependency because that wouldn't really be codependency put it this way there's going to be a very very intense honeymoon stage <laughs> where you're going to be so wrapped up in each other other people are going to barely see you but it's going to be important that eventually you know you do make sure you're maintaining your lives outside of each other like with your friends your hobbies and things of that sort but you're going to be very very wrapped up in each other emotionally with the honeymoon phase is going to be very intense um but again this is not going to be a partnership that it just starts off with a bang and then you're just in the honeymoon stage no like you're going to build this relationship up gradually you're going to start out dating start out as friends and you're going to build it up gradually until you gain that mutual trust for each other and then that's when the relationship in the honeymoon phase will start and that'll make the honeymoon phase even more intense because of the fact that you will actually trust each other you see what i'm saying you don't have to hold back in this honeymoon phase because you've built the relationship up slowly and you trust each other so in terms of when you will meet this person um i'm not seeing well for these cards i'm not really seeing a specific time set um when it comes to tarot you know the future is fluid it's not written in stone so i can give you the overall energy instead of the exact time period where you'll meet this person so this is the energy of when you would meet them so we have the coffin card, the existence card, and the nine of pentacles card. So you're going to meet this person after you close out a major cycle in your life. It's something that went on for a long time that you finally had to say goodbye to, and it was quite devastating to you, actually. Um, but you're meeting this person at a time where you're finally getting over that, whatever that is that you had to let go of or say goodbye to. You're meeting this person when you're like finally at a place where you feel balanced and you feel like, okay, I'm, I'm finally finding my footing again. I'm finally like getting past uh, that loss that I had. Um, you also meet a, this person at a time where you're really questioning like what your purpose is on this earth, where you're really like thinking about what it is that you're passionate about and what mark you want to leave in the world and you start walking towards that so you're on your path you're walking in your purpose I guess I should say um, when you come across this person and it's funny because it's like you have been wishing for this person um, even if you haven't been directly asking asking the universe for them it's like every time someone has let you down every time somebody had disappointed you when you have thought to yourself I wish I had somebody who didn't treat me like this I wish I had somebody who was actually loving towards me who was actually affectionate like every time somebody just let you down you silently like made a wish for the opposite and basically this person is going to be that wish those wishes that come true to you and like I said you meet them when you're on your path you're walking in your purpose you're questioning like what is my place in life and you are um you know slowly but surely walking towards that and you kind of run smack dab into this person um and you meet them at a time where you are trying to just become more independent you're not feeling like how do I put this? You're not feeling very independent, even if this is a time where you you feel like you have your own house, your own car and things of that sort. You are more so wanting to be walking on a, a path of your your actual mission and purpose. So this could be a time where you like leave a job to go and pursue your passion. It doesn't have to be that specific. I'm just giving an example. Like it's like there's this independence that you want to have and it's more of like a spiritual independence like you're you're wanting to kind of break free from the the day-to-day -day like rat race that everyone else is in and you're wanting to just figure out what your higher purpose is y you see what i'm saying you're trying to break free from what everyone else is doing like what everyone else is participating in and you're wanting to forge your own path and walk in your own purpose and that's when you meet this person it's kind of like the saying you find who you love by doing what you love that's what i'm seeing here so that is it, group number two. So I hope that this was helpful. If you feel drawn towards any other uh, crystal or any other pile, you can feel free to watch that as well. And if not, um, I will see you guys in my next reading. Bye. Okay, group number three. So let's dive right into your cards. We're first going to discuss 
what your divine partner is going to be like, like their personality and their traits. Then we'll talk about um, what your relationship with them will be like. And then we will talk about when you will actually meet this person. Okay. So the personality and their traits. We have the privileged lady, the letting go card, and the four of swords. So right away, I'm getting that your divine partner comes from somewhat of a privileged background. And that can mean different things for different people. Um, for some people, it could be that they are wealthy, as in like their family has money. Um, but this could also be privileged, as in maybe they come from a very loving family. And that in itself is a privilege, you know. So they have been treated very well throughout life. They have been well taken care of. And therefore, they will take care of you and they will treat you very well. Um, this person has been very loved and so they know how to give love properly and so um, that's what you can expect from them um, i'm seeing that this person is very well dressed uh, they like very um i wouldn't say expensive for some of them for some of you it's going to be expensive clothing but it's more like clothing that makes them stand out um they like to look very just well put together uh, people definitely like the way that they dress definitely turns heads and gets a lot of attention but they don't do it for the attention they just do it because um i, I feel like clothing is like an express like a a form of self-expression for them so they like to dress well um they believe in like the you know when you look good you feel good sort of thing and um so i'm seeing here that they are just very uh well dressed and very well put together very well groomed and things of that sort um they definitely enjoy being outside they enjoy um nature for sure so this is someone who you could possibly go on nature walks with who you could go have picnics with things of that sort like they might like to be outside for sure they are definitely a fan of plants is what i'm also hearing like they may have a lot of plants or um like they have a lot of plants like within their home or they just really love plants um so yeah this is like someone who is just very like i said very well put together uh, comes from a very uh, privileged background and someone who is a nature lover. So also with the letting go card being here in the reverse, I am seeing that this is someone who is very sentimental. They are someone who, when they get attached to something, they put their energy into it and they don't just, you know, just let it go. And that's not to say that they don't know how to let things go that don't serve them, but it's more so like this is not a person who is just going to give up that easily. Like there's someone who, if the friendship is rocky, they're going to want to talk it out. There's someone who, if the um, relationship is rocky, they're going to want to talk it out. They don't just throw it away and walk away. So, um, yeah, that is something that is a very positive trait that they have because nowadays, everyone treats things like they're disposable and I, I get that because you know you never want to hold on to things too long that aren't serving you but there's times where certain things are valuable to you that you don't you shouldn't dispose of and that this person is aware of that and knows that and is willing to work through issues rather than just dispose of things and throw them away um, this is also someone who is very ambitious so when they have an idea about something that they want to pursue they go after it and they don't stop until they get what they want um, so they, they don't give up very easily. Um, with the Four of Swords card being here, they are definitely someone who just really enjoys their peace of mind and their quiet time. Like when they're in their home, they like their home to be very zen, very tranquil. Like they just like to have like a lot of peace. Um, and that could be why, like I, I was picking up on that they love nature. Like they love to kind of just sit in the park and listen to the nature sounds. Um, it's very soothing to them. So yeah i'm just seeing someone who just really enjoys like having peace of mind they don't like chaos they don't like drama or anything of that sort um and they do you know they do like their alone time from time to time and if you are someone who likes alone time they'll gladly give you that alone time so in terms of the um the uh the way the relationship will be like how your relationship will be with each other we have the king of swords we have the fighting card in reverse and the imprisonment card in reverse okay so like i was picking up on earlier um this is someone who enjoys their freedom and they enjoy you having your freedom as well so this relationship will never feel like a prison to either one of you um there will definitely be a lot of trust between you two and that's why there's no need for it to feel like a prison because it's like okay i trust this person i know that they're not going to do anything to betray me or disrespect me so i don't need to check in on them a million times i don't need to snoop and lurk and things of that sort because there's just this incredible amount of trust i'm sensing a very very strong friendship that's here as 
well. And that's a theme that I picked up on in all three piles, actually, um, that these defi divine partners that I'm picking up on, there's a strong foundation of friendship that's laid there first before you even start building romantically. So there's a lot of trust. Um, with the fighting card being here in the reverse, um, I'm sensing that, again, this person is someone who just does not like to fight in a way that is chaotic or full of drama like they definitely like to work things out there's someone who likes to talk things out but they don't want to fight their spouse as if you're an enemy you see what i'm saying so your relationship whenever you run into conflict you're going to be dealing with it in a way that is very um peaceful in a way that it's like okay it's me and you versus the problem it's not me and the problem versus you or it's not like us you know being enemies towards each other you see what i'm saying um so yeah, they're just someone who just really likes people. They just are a peacemaker for sure. Um, this is someone also who is very intelligent and both of you are going to be very mentally stimulated. Um, you can definitely bounce ideas off of each other. Like if you need advice or direction, you go to them immediately and they always have a plan. They always have a solution for you and vice versa. Um, because you know each other so well, it's like you can give each other the best advice because it's like, sometimes we can't think of our own solutions because we're too close to the problem and so the best sometimes the best solution is to get advice from someone who knows us inside and out who can give us like what we would do as the best version of ourselves and that's what is happening here like they can lead you in the right direction and you can lead them in the right direction because you know each other so well um i feel like both of you in this relationship are very gentle towards each other. Like you make sure that the way that you communicate with each other, it's kind of like, it's very sweet actually. It's like you're communicating with a child and that's not in a way where you're like talking down on each other. Um, it's more so in a way where you, like you wouldn't verbally abuse a child. You wouldn't call a child stupid or call a child out their name. So you wouldn't do that with each other. I, I hope that that makes sense. It's like, it's very gentle and delicate the way that you handle each other and the way that you speak to each other. So um, very, very beautiful energy here. Um, I'm gonna pull one more actually. I'm also hearing video games randomly so this person could like to play video games possibly or that could be something that you two do together um lover's card and despair card so definitely a lot of romance here a lot of romance and it's kind of like a a classic like movie type of romance if that makes sense like a rom-com like a romantic comedy sort of romance like this is like romeo no okay that's a bad example <laughs> I was gonna say Romeo and Juliet no scratch that um, but this is like a very classic love like they are very much into like a traditional way of courting you a traditional like traditional expressions of romance like the romance that you see in the movies that you're kind of like no way that this is real like the romance that you see in like the notebook and things of that sort that's what I'm sensing um, between you two it's a very like pure innocent sort of love that's here and that makes sense because it's it's a divine partnership so this is someone who the, the divine has brought to you to be you know your partner so naturally it's going to be very innocent and very pure there's going to be you know problems just like any other people or any other relationship would have but it's the way that you handle each other and the way that you support each other through it that is going to show how divine this partnership actually is there's going to be so many more good days than bad days for some of you you've been through relationships where the bad days outweigh all of the good days so yeah um this is something that is just some, it's going to be far more joy than there is despair is what I'm seeing. And that's obviously the way that it should be. Um, a lot of loyalty towards each other as well is what I'm seeing. So when you will meet this person. So like I explained in the other uh, groups, um, I'm not picking up on an exact date or an exact time because the future is fluid, it's not written in stone. So therefore, um, I can't really pick up on uh, the exact day, but I can pick up on the energy, like what energy you're going to be in when you meet this person. So we have the wealthy man card, the traveling card and the the um, wheel of fortune. So it looks like this person, you're going to meet them possibly through your career with the wealthy man card. It could be someone that you meet through work or someone who you meet through like a, a 
some sort of like business connect. Um, but this is definitely around a time period where you are really involved in your career. Like you're working very hard, you're climbing the ladder in your career. Um, for some of you, you have, it, it's like this is a time period where you have enough money to travel a lot. So you actually could meet this person while you are traveling, whether it be a business trip or you're taking a vacation. But put it this way, you are doing well for yourself financially. You know, whatever that may mean to you, it doesn't mean you have to be a millionaire. You know, whatever financially well off means to you, um, that's when you will meet this person. And again, I do sense traveling, so it doesn't have to be traveling like outside of the country. It could be that. Uh, it could be taking like a, a weekend trip somewhere, like to the beach or something, and you meet this person. But um, I am seeing that this is during a time where you have the money that you can actually, you know, travel and it, it kind of explore, and then you run into this person. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune card being here, I just feel like this person comes in at a time where you're on like a winning streak. Like you feel like everything in your life is going well. Like you're just like, you know, I'm just, I'm manifesting everything that I want. I feel confident. I feel good about myself. Um, you know, just everything seems to be going your way. And then just to, to top it off, this person comes into your life. So yeah, this is just definitely a time where, like I said, your career focus, you're making a, a good amount of money. You feel wealthy overall. You feel wealthy, not just externally, like with your money, but you also feel wealthy internally. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's what I'm seeing here. And then you just, yeah, the, the universe just kind of ushers this person into your life. It, it's quite random, but I don't think you're gonna be surprised because it's kind of like, well, I've been on a winning streak, so. Am I really shocked that my divine partner would come in during this time, you know? So um, that is it. That's all I am sensing for you, group number three. If you feel called to um, watch any of the other groups, then you can go ahead and do that. But if not, thank you for watching this reading and I will see you guys in my next video.